Jim Corrales, Charlotte, and Chapel Hill, number seven board. Doing okay, Alice? First time away from home? You've always been too smart for this town. And Chapel Hill's a wonderful school. And you got a scholarship. That came out of the blue. How's Daddy? I know your father's a tender man. Right now, he's searching scripture to justify what he did. The Bible's not obliging. How's Jimmy Ray doing? Mama, he's going to come to Raleigh as soon as I'm settled. And we are going to find our baby. That'll be a joyous day for all of us. There's no doubt about it. 
I'm turning yellow as a sunflower. There's poison in my liver, they tell me. That's a swift thing. Maybe not. Suitcase. Where you headed? Chapel Hill. Overnight? Maybe more, maybe a week or more. Uh, who's gonna take care of me? I've arranged it. You take care of me! The son takes care of the father the same way the father took care of the son. I'll be back. Oh, what's in Chapel Hill? Business, I hope. What do you think? That girl that almost ruined you? You stay away from her. Trouble once is trouble always. She and I are bonded. And we have a child out there somewhere. Together maybe we can find him and lay claim. Find him. Why not? You know, you'd be surprised what can be accomplished if you just... You'll never find that child. What do you mean? You're still holding that suitcase, Jimmy Ray. That's better. I took care of my son that night. I made everything right for you. So you could go into the world without encumbrance. That adoption should have been my decision. There was no adoption. What are you talking about? I cleansed you. As sure as I was dipping you in baptismal waters. Is this the liquor talking? Nobody knew the mayor on that train that night. I got on in Ryan County. I was just a businessman passing through. Only not with papers in a briefcase. No. Something better. Something better to relocate. What? What'd you have? I had me a baby in a suitcase. What do you mean? What'd you do? I walked towards the far end of the train where it was just me and the creature, and the clatter of the tracks. I stepped out between the cars, oh. and as we passed over the river, I flung it high into the air. I heard of evil in the world, but you and I are flesh and blood. My son! I did it for you! I can never hurt her with all this 
I can never tell her why You may as well have murdered me When you cast him away that night All I have to live for same time. Just like Lucy. It's called a slow gin fizz, but you don't gotta drink it slow. <laughs> you are a modern woman, Lucy. A bit. You wanna be a writer? Better than that. I wanna be a censor. A censor? Why a censor? When I was 12, I gave my father a Raymond Chandler mystery novel. I was watching him read it when suddenly his face turned the color of a rose. He set the book face down, called for my mother, took her into another part of the house, and shut the door. I went over to the book to see what he had just read. And right there, in the middle of the page, was the word, Brazier. I thought, this must never happen again. So now, a few nights a week, I take home a manuscript, fix myself a Manhattan, and search for hidden erotic content. Would you um, <laughs> like to do that with me sometime? Well, I... Well, what? Got a girl back home? Well, no, I don't know. Well, don't bring her to Asheville. Why not? Because country girls flatten out under city lights. Another round! Oh, uh, really? You heard the lady. Lady, please! Not on a Friday night! Woo! Oh. Come on, boys! <laughs> Who 
And homesick, down, ejected, and dubious. I've discovered what does the trick. Bartender, give me some more of this. Pour me another round. Pour me another round. Pour me another. Pour me another round. piece on my desk? She seems to think it's ready. Ready? We're publishing it next month. You are? We are. Miss Murphy, would it be alright if I were to jump for joy? You may. <laughs> Yahoo! Is that the best you can do? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah! Miss Murphy? Oh, thank you, Darla. Down, boy. Just reminding you that you have a train to catch. Mm -hmm. You're leaving? I'm going to Raleigh on some long overdue personal business. We have to stop in Zebulon to see your family. Mm -hmm. Here are your tickets. Thank you. Miss Murphy, that train runs right through Hayes Creek and we can meet there. I'll show you all the places I've been writing about. Well, I've uh, done it for other writers before. Darla, have Lucy put up my itinerary. Uh, Lucy's going to be a bit late today. She's under the weather. Is that in quotes? Very. Miss mm. <laughs> Murphy, I'm afraid that's my fault. You see, I went to the Shiny Penny last night, and Lucy and I had a bit of a, uh, a flapdoodle. You love pulling words out of your hat. I have the same habit. <laughs> I got it from my mother. And I got it from a desperate need of attention. <laughs> I've got a little of that, too. You started anything new? You know, I have, and I find I've been writing more and more about home. <laughs> Mr. Kane, it'd be easier to get Lincoln off the face of Mount Rushmore than to get home out of the heart of a southern writer. I'll see you in Hayes Creek. And congratulations. <laughs> Since 
1924? They are. The laws are changing this year. These records won't be open anymore. Would you like me to help you search? You can't be so kind. The baby was wearing I a blue sweater. Maybe in some of the photos. These photos are in black and white, Miss Murphy. Maybe he wasn't dropped off in Raleigh. You should be trying some of the surrounding towns. Charlotte has an agency. He was dropped off here! Kate, do you remember anyone else checking for a baby left here on the same date? Not that I recall. Should there be? I would think so. I know this is hard to hear, but maybe he just didn't care as much as you. If there is any truth in this world, he cared. Somehow, he would have come looking. I'm the only one behind his desk for the last 19 years. Maybe that's a puzzle I should have sorted out before. Walk and meet you there. Well, the sun does shine in Raleigh. Hello, Jimmy Ray. Alice. Young Alice. Not so young. Oh, forever young in my memory. <laughs> this your home? It's nice. Oh. Uh, yeah, I worked hard over the years. Those your kids? In a way, they're my sister's kids. You married? Nope, never married. Close, a couple of times. Guess I would have heard. Uh, I followed you. I know you never married. I paid attention. You did well in Asheville. I, I had a few trips up there myself. Even, uh, even looked up at your building. Never went in, though. Why not? You moved on. You, know, you published, uh, Carson, Carson McCullers. Dora Welty? Yeah, I've been paying attention. I always paid attention to you, Alice. If I didn't, I knew I was in trouble. We were so young. Yeah, we were. I wonder, often, if I was older, would I behave different, better? Yes. When I came to Raleigh today, it wasn't my intention to see you. I went to the Hall of Records with the same woman who has been there for 20 years. And I asked her if anyone else had come looking for the whereabouts of our child. She said, not one. Not one person. Not you. I didn't, Alice. And you never came to see me, why? Oh, well, it's a better to hope or to know. Please. After my father died, you discovered it was he who had funded your scholarship. Why? To get you out of town. Guilt. Guilt? Alice, we're trying to Raleigh somewhere in the night. My father took our son and threw him off the train and into the river below. No! I have 
being blinded. Darkness fell on me. How our life would be rolling like a river, peaceful, wild, and free. I had a vision of how our life would go a happy little family playing on the porch. Edna home after the bookstore closes. Well, guess what? We just closed. <laughs> May I help? Well... Have you seen me? For a writer, you're not very good at reading people. What are you doing here? Margo, you're the first person I wanted to tell. I'm going to be published in the Asheville Southern Journal. What? <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> that is some damn news. My, my. What is it, Billy? I think I'm starting to see you in a new way. What do you mean? Margo, since I came back from the war, many things have, have changed in my life. Of course. But some things have remained constant. Uh, family. This place, or Hayes Creek. One thing has remained both constant and changing, so I wonder, how is that possible? Anything's possible with people. What is it? Us. There's an us. 
There is if you want there to be. I don't know. I've just never thought about you in that way. We're supposed to be together, I know. I feel it way down deep in my soul. We're never meant to be apart. I keep you here inside of my heart. I always have, always will, always, always, always will. I always have, always will, always, always, always will. I see you, darling. I didn't know if I was worth a visit anymore. Oh, well, Daddy, how could you say that? Through the years, reasonableness has laid its hand upon my shoulder. Things I've done in the past don't quite stand like they used to. Do you want a glass of water? You any of that hooch? I do. Mm -hmm. How long can you stay? Just one day. One day, darling. It's a short time to say a lot. Mama here? She's at the neighbor's. She'll be back. But I'm glad to have you alone. I can talk to your mama, but not about certain things. Sounds like you've been banking words, Daddy. You got to around here. Mm -hmm. Some trees. Some nights it's so quiet you can almost hear a leaf fall. Then you can tell the color of that leaf just by the tiny crisp crack it makes as it lights on the ground. I know that feeling. Sometimes I hear the fiddlers in town, and I know they're playing the sound of the waves going over the lakes back home. 
What kind of things can't you talk to mom about? Certainly not about things that occurred 23 years ago. No, not about things that occurred 23 years ago. That had to have been the most painful day of your life. Oh, Daddy. It was. Yes. Well, if shame could ever equal pain, I would say I know how you feel. Because what I did that day made it the most shameful day of my life. I believe that was the last day my own daddy still had hold of me. How I felt after that helped me purge him from me. I don't ask for forgiveness. Well, daddy, I no. forgive. Alice, I cannot even forgive myself. I wonder what happened to the boy. Do you know Alice? I do, Daddy. He was adopted by a good family in California and raised with very much love. He's educated and successful, and he's a fine young man. That's what I wish for him all along. Maybe your wish has made it so. sure does. Hey, Daddy, it's Billy. And put your pants on. There's a lady present. All right, let me get them on. <sighs> Hello there, son. I still salute you. Daddy, this is Miss Murphy. Oh, I know all about you. Come on, we're standing on the wrong side of the porch. You want a knee-high? Yes, thank you. <gasps> Miss Murphy, we got a barber shop here in Hayes Creek with your magazine stacked up on the settee. We're readers here. And Billy will be published in its next issue. I heard. Uh, Mary Lee would have been awful pleased to know that. Mary Lee? That's my mother. Billy, you got clothes here, you know that? Some good shirts and some nice pants. You ought to take them on over to New Place. You know, I could use them, Daddy. There must be some wonderful stories of your wife, Mr. Kane. Billy should write about her sometime. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, better to pick from the whole town with our array of cads and scoundrels. <laughs> well, look at this. My mail order plaid. It's still good. And my old fishing vest. Uh, let me get you something to put that in, uh, Miss Murphy. <sighs> How do you like it here? It's lovely, Billy. <laughs> Reminds me of Zebulon in some ways. You must find awful repose here, Mr. Kane. Oh, I do. Miss Murphy? I'm sorry. Your wife must have died very young. Billy's only 23. Oh, um, uh, Mary Lee died last year at the age of 65. She had Billy really Lane life, which is awful rare around these parts where people are getting married and bearing children before they can ride a bike. Billy, you got a box of your stuff in the shed. Oh, I don't want to take up Miss Murphy's time with that. Look what I found. A good pair of boots. And you won't believe this. My old baby sweater. Oh, <laughs> I got to show this to Margo. <laughs> what is it? An old left sweater. An old left suitcase. How? My life was born away with me in it. You're saying you've seen the sweater before? I made it. Oh, I 
knew this day would come. Mr. Kane, it's, it's you who has a story, isn't it? It's you. What are you two talking about, Daddy? Billy, one night, I was out frogging and went a little further down river than I usually go. Now, where are you fat ones? Me and Mary Lee gonna have you for dinner. Where Darn it! You made me lose Mr. Ichabod P. Toe! Oh, I hear you over there. Uh, anybody there? Somebody here? Oh, bangs and bruises. You're gonna keep a trouble, little feller. Come on now. Want to get you cleaned up. If you came from the sky, and it's the Lord's will that we raise you. And if you came from that train, then I guess someone didn't want you.
late. It's not like her. She got a notice from the post office that there's a special delivery letter. If they can send the notice, why can't they send the letter? She went over there with Jimmy Ray to pick it up. She's pretty cozy with Jimmy Ray. He's attractive, don't you think? Oh, Lucy, I don't know how to judge a man. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, oh, you read the next line. Oh, Darla, this is the funniest thing I've ever read. We must run it through our humor column. What is it? It's a hilarious piece by a rapper I've never heard the name of. Uh, Lillian Jones? <gasps> Lillian Jones? Congratulations, Darla! What? Lillian Jones is my new pen name. Good for you! Miss <laughs> Murphy, you've been on a tear lately. You have. Miss Murphy, may I be frank? Well, it may take a little time getting used to calling you that, but sure. What's come over you? I really miss the dark layer of gloom you brought to work with you every day. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll find out sooner or later. Many years ago, I had a child. Darla, you owe me five dollars. <laughs> and it turns out that child is alive and well. And the child works for me. Works for... Oh, my God, it's Darla! <laughs> it's Billy! Billy? When have you last spoken with him? The night he found out. Um, a month now. He's not written or called. Uh, but these things take time, don't you think? Uh, you know, I was thinking of taking a trip up to Hayes Creek just to see him myself. You know, I don't think I would recognize him if I laid eyes on him. Hello. Oh, my God. Hi, Billy. Well, you're a handsome boy. You must take after your father. And that would be me. Billy Kane, honored to meet you, sir. Oh. Lucy, shall we go look for that pencil box? The missing pencil box. Yes. 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 Now, now, where, where is, is that, 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 that pencil box? Miss <laughs> Murphy, I came to apologize. Well, you don't have to apologize. No, I do. I was selfish, and I couldn't stop thinking about how I was hurt that night. But it was not just me; it was every one of us. So I went to the real site of my birth, a small cabin in the woods. How did you find him? Your father loves you very much. He led me to the cabin, and he told the story of that awful night, how I was torn from your arms. But I realized that truth walks with us like a shadow, and one day it merges with us. Until then, we're never truly whole. Billy, you are no doubt your mother's son. <laughs> and Lucy, I think I'd owe you an apology too. Perhaps it was a little misleading. Well, we can start afresh. Hello, I'm Margo. I'm Billy's fiance. Oh, Margo, you are? Thanks for letting me know. Woo-ha! <laughs> well, Alice, are you going to the wedding? Of course I am. He's my son. I'm not theirs. Ours. Lucy, could get married on my calendar. <laughs> now that's the Miss Murphy we know and love. I had a vision of how our life would be. Rolling like a river, peaceful, wild, and free. I had a vision of how our life would go. All of our kids singing while you play piano. You mean we're the only ones not getting married? Well, that just burns my biscuits. Oh, let me live this veil of darkness. Beautiful, you are next. 
everything was wonderful and I loved you so.